Remember how a few weeks ago Atletico Madrid were talking about how they were the victims of Manchester City's dirty tactics in the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final? Well, a lot of days have passed since then, but then we started thinking about those events and decided that we need to discuss it with our goalside family. And of course, that won't be the only thing we'll talk about. One way or another, PSG are going to let go of Mauricio Pochettino even though the Argentine has just won them yet another Liga and title. So, who are they going to welcome to the Parc des Princes? Well, there is a name that's popped out of nowhere and is definitely a good candidate. Thomas Tuchel has confirmed that star defender Antonio Rudiger will be leaving Chelsea when the season ends. Reports claim that the German international has been hotly linked with a move to Real Madrid. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag is chasing a former Ajax midfielder as the Dutch tactician looks set to assume an unenviable responsibility of taking Manchester United back to the top of the Premier League from next season. So, you know who we are and if you want to be part of our family and stay informed about all things football, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favorite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they are involved in other breaking news. It is the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. According to the latest information from the English press, the current Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag, who will take over the reins of Manchester United at the end of the season, believes that Christian Eriksen would be the perfect signing to launch his revolution in the Premier League club. But to afford the 30-year-old star, the Dutch tactician will have to fight. Held in check by Tottenham this Saturday on the 34th day of the Premier League, Brentford, 11th in the standings, can still welcome the return to grace of a man who's been in sparkling form for the Bees since his return to English football, and above all, on the football pitch after his heart attack at Euro 2020. Eriksen is once again dazzling the league with his talent class. With two assists and one goal in seven matches this season, the Danish attacking midfielder has helped Thomas Frank's side move away from a relegation fight, returning to Ajax at the start of the year as he continued his recovery from this almost fatal cardiac arrest. Eriksen had already impressed Eric Ten Hag, current coach of Ajax. At the time, the Dutch team had even considered offering a new contract to their protégé, trained at the club, but had finally resigned themselves out of fear of his state of health and his ability to perform again at the highest level. But like the whole footballing world, Eric Ten Hag continued to watch with admiration the Danish international's incredible return to competition, even to the point of making it a priority target for the next transfer window of the Red Devils, according to the Daily Star. Convinced that he will be a big help to his team, the former Tottenham man is among a host of players ETH wants at Old Trafford. The Danish international signed a short-term deal with the West Londoners, and can leave for nothing in the summer, which inevitably makes him an attractive proposition to the Red Devils. Bringing him over would be a huge bargain, since Eriksen still has a few years of top-level football left in him. Moreover, United don't really have such a creative yet disciplined midfielder within their ranks. At the same time, Tottenham are also interested in signing the former Inter Milan man. The Spurs are still in with a chance to make it in the top four of the Premier League, and this could be their value proposition for next season. Moreover, Antonio Conte has worked with Eriksen for two years during his time in Italy and knows all about his qualities. Thanks to a goal from Christian Pulisic at the very end of the match, Chelsea won at home against their neighbours West Ham 1-0 as part of the 34th day of the Premier League a victory that allowed the Blues to take a five-point lead over their rivals Arsenal, who are in fourth place, and thus consolidated their third place in the standings, qualifying for the next edition of the Champions League. And in a press conference after the meeting, the Blues coach Thomas Tuchel revealed the future of his central defender and compatriot Antonio Rudiger. The situation is that he wants to leave the club. He told me about it in a private conversation. We gave everything, the club and I, but we couldn't fight anymore because of the actions. The soap opera around a possible extension of the German at Stamford Bridge is therefore over. Still facing the media, the Blues tactician did not hide the club's difficulties in reaching an agreement with the 29-year-old player, especially after the instructions given to the Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich following the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. 
Without the sanctions, we could at least continue to fight, but our hands are tied. We don't take it personally, it's his decision. Arriving in London since the summer of 2017 against the Czech for 35 million euros from Roma, Rudiger had also refused a new extension offer according to the Telegraph. Tuchel's statement should please his former club, Paris Saint-Germain. Indeed, the club from the capital has taken great measures to secure the services of the German international. They've made the highest offer of the four interested teams, Chelsea, PSG, Real Madrid and Juventus. Nevertheless, if he had to choose, Rudiger is reportedly much more eager to join Real Madrid, which is now being seen as a winning project by many of the top players out there. So don't be surprised if you see the former Roma man wearing the white jersey from next season. Who will be on the Parc des Princes bench next season? One thing seems certain, it will not be the current tenant, Mauricio Pochettino. Everything indicates that the Argentine coach will be dismissed from his post in the coming days, with Severin's pay of around 15 million euros to be paid by the Parisian management. The man concerned also doesn't really want to stay in office. Therefore, the question that everyone asks, Leonardo and Nasser the first, is who to replace him? As we have revealed to you several times, the duo of Zinedine Zidane as coach and Arsene Wenger as manager makes Qatar dream, but nothing is signed yet, and it will not be that easy to attract the two men. In recent days, we learned that Antonio Conte had offered himself to the Parisian leaders, the Italian being very motivated to take control of the capital club. He even took a lot of information from club employees, and that's good, for him at least. The interest is mutual, according to the Times on Monday. PSG are indeed considering offering the job to Antonio Conte, and even if Zinedine Zidane remains the number one choice of the Ile de France management, the current Spurs coach has options, and would even be plan B if the track leading to the former Real Madrid coach fails. The trans-alpine tactician wants to train a competitive team in the Champions League, and is not sure he can achieve this with Tottenham. They say that karma is an eventuality that can't be ignored. You might be in the habit of getting away from your misdemeanors a lot of the time, but as Johnny Cash said, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. And that's exactly what happened with Atletico Madrid. Now, Diego Simeone is not the manager of a bad team. You can't be a bad team if you manage to win two league titles in a league where only two teams are supposed to be dominating. Atletico Madrid are a unique team. From the outside, they look like a rugged team that sort of reminds you of the Arsenal sides long before Arsene Wenger became the manager at Highbury. But at the same time, this team knows how to play attacking football, and in the final third, they can be quite a menacing prospect. Ask Manchester United, who struggled against the Atletico onslaught over the course of the two legs of the Champions League round of 16. The Spaniards thought that something similar might work out against Manchester City, but Pep Guardiola showed a side of him we never knew existed. In the second leg, with the citizens leading the tie 1-0, the home side played an ultra-defensive brand of football, something that you don't associate with them. From time-wasting to winding up their opponents, City did exactly what Atletico have been doing over the years. This time around, though, the reigning La Liga champions did not like the tactics one little bit. Following the game, there was an altercation between players from both teams. Atletico Madrid's players lost their heads after watching City waste time and making things difficult for the referee. But then again, this is what Atletico have been doing for many years. So they should not have been that mad about things. All in all, it is safe to say that what happened to Atletico on the night was a long time coming. And while their fans might have every reason to be angry with City, the neutrals will call it justice being served.